Well, Rachel Jennifer, thank you very much uh, for talking to me tonight. Rachel, let's start with you. I mean, you're a very successful businesswoman. What do you make of the fact that Rebecca was just saying in a report there that women graduating from university today are more likely to go into less skilled jobs than their male counterparts? Well, they're interesting st statistics. Um, I just think that um, the world of, of work and employment and corporate life isn't really set up for women to thrive. And in my world of business, um, you know, you can create a lifestyle which might, is much more flexible and you know, easier to accommodate having children uh, uh, as well as working. And Jennifer, a lot of people think you know, all the hard work in terms of women in the workplace was done a generation ago, but these are this, this generation's young women coming up and it doesn't look like things have changed as much as maybe they should have done. Isn't that not, not disappointing? I think it all depends what you consider to be a skilled job. Um, it may be that men are going into sort of the professions, the traditional professions, but I think women are very, very, um, can sort of see between the lines and, and go for what they are actually going to enjoy and um, what's going to work for them in the long term. So it's not necessarily that women want the same careers as men want. We actually want different things from our life plans. Um, Rachel, what about this other statistic that shows the biggest drop off in pay for women in work is between the ages of say, 24 and 35, I suppose, when they're breaking to have children. Why is this, why is such a tricky area still for women to have a job and to have a family? Um, I, I think there's a lot said about glass ceilings, but I don't actually think that's the case. I think a lot of women decide they want to opt out of the corporate life because it isn't really designed, you know, for having children and, and having that kind it, of lifestyle. How did, how did you manage well, it? You've got three children, I, I've right? got five children. Five children, excuse and, me. Uh, Jennifer, you've got three children. Yes. Place, isn't it? <laughs> but looking back, there's no way I could have had my five children if I'd been working in that kind of corporate life. I was um, very fortunate. I ran my own business. I could create my own rules. I could work with my own energy patterns. I could accommodate having children and a great lifestyle and running a great business. This is and, the red letter day. That yes, right? yeah. and make a lot more money than had I uh, stayed in um, employment. And Jennifer, is it a similar story for you with your fantastic business and three yeah. children? Do you I find think, it easy? I think that success is really what you decide success is. And everybody has a different idea of it. And a man's idea of success is quite often very different to a woman's idea of success. To me, I feel incredibly successful because I managed to make every school play and drop my kids mm. off at school a few days a week and, and read their stories most evenings. To me, that is success. And it is a bit of a balance, but that is success. Now, I don't think that, that people measure that. And if they were measuring that, I think a lot of those women would consider themselves to be very successful, to have found jobs where they can work part time and, and they don't have to be under enormous stress at work. And, and you two are both great examples of that. Um, but there's still, I mean, why do you think, Rachel, women don't get paid as much as men? I mean, that is discrimination, surely, if nothing else. Well, I, I think it's difficult to compare things. Um, and um, Have you ever come across that? Have you ever experienced that? Maybe not in your career, but well, maybe your in, friends in my or experience, stories actually, you've heard. I, I think women are far better than men in many ways in that we're much more what, intuitive. In, what about demanding the right, the equal amount well, of pay? I mean, may, maybe we're not strident enough to demand pay, but I think women as workers and as business owners are much more intuitive, they're much more in tune with customers, and they're much more heart-centered in their approach. And I think that's the way that business is going. And I think actually we're moving into a very different world. What do you think, Jennifer? Well, Have you ever experienced that or seen other women doing the same job as a man but getting paid less? Well, I love putting women into management positions because of exactly what Rachel was talking about, how intuitive we are and how we can read between the lines. And women may not be very good at putting themselves forward for a raise. And that's why a good employer reads between the lines and goes, hang on a second, she's really stepping up, let's, let's put her pay in the right place. And so I've managed to have women who've worked for me for a very long time, right through their child okay. bearing years. Just briefly, one word answers, 25 years time on the generation. Will, will it be true equality then? What do you think? I think women will be way ahead of men. <laughs> what do you think, Jennifer? I hope we have wonderful balance in our lives. Okay, great answer. I hope so too. Thanks so much, ladies, for joining me tonight.